So this is a follow-on video from the original video I put up with regards to how to train when you're on a business trip or if you're on holiday. If you happen to have limited equipment, the series that we're gonna to put together is two workouts, an A and a B based on a barbell only gym, dumbbell only gym, or a cable machine only gym. The reason I've chosen those three pieces of equipment is because I travel an awful lot and no matter where I have been, in every single hotel gym I've ever been in, no matter where it is, I have always, always, always found a gym has one of those three pieces of equipment. So, to give you an outline of this workout, all of the workouts we're gonna to put together are full body. This one in particular is gonna be quads on your lower body and upper body posterior chain primarily, but it's a full body fat loss and muscle building workout. Dependent on your ability, I would suggest doing between two and four sets of every single exercise and supersetting them. So A1, A2 or B1, B2, as you will see in the program, what you need to do is do one exercise, go straight onto the next exercise, then take your rest. Repeat that for the amount of sets you need, move on to the next pairing. With regards to how often you should be training while you're abroad, I would suggest getting up in the morning before you go for breakfast, whether you're in, on a business trip or you're on holiday, training every other day, alternating workouts A and B. So with that said, let's get on with it. Okay, so this is exercise A1. You're gonna see Leanne here perform the barbell back squat. What she's gonna do is step away from the rack with feet about shoulder width apart, chest up, pulling the bar down into her back. She's then gonna lower down into the squat, nice and deep, keeping the knees out all the time and driving back up. We're gonna go for about five reps here to see how she goes. Push those knees out, Leanne. Now, it's worth noting that everybody is gonna have a different range. By that, I mean the depth that you can get on this movement is gonna be different for every single person. Just go two more, Leanne, keeping that chest up nice and high. So don't worry if you can't go all the way down. Final one, walk it in. If you find that you're leaning forward an awful lot and you really can't get the depth, then it's worth trying a front squat, which Leanne is now gonna show you. She's just gonna show you bar placement. In exactly the same way as you would do a back squat, Leanne is gonna set the bar on the front of her body rather than on the back. She's gonna lift it out and then she would squat like that. What that does is it shifts the center of mass a little bit further forwards, allowing you to get down deeper. This is one of these squats that's gonna be far more beneficial for most of you women out there because of the length of your legs. So that is exercise A1, the barbell squat. Okay, so this is exercise A2, the bent over barbell row. What Leanne is gonna do is get right next to the bar. She's gonna put her hands about shoulder width apart, just outside of her hips. She's gonna stand up with the bar to start with until she's completely upright. Then she's gonna flex at the hips, leaning forwards to about 90 degrees or just above it. She's then gonna row that bar in towards her belly button, squeezing the shoulder blades nice and hard at the top. So she pulls it up, squeezes the shoulder blades, steady down. Notice how she's keeping her back very, very straight throughout the movement. She's got her back, uh, head and neck in neutral spine, so she's not looking down, nor is she looking up. Two more reps, Leanne. Perfect, really, really good form. Dragging it up and then safely putting the barbell down. So that is our A2 exercise, a barbell bent over row. Okay folks, so exercise B2, we're back down to the lower body. This is an alternating barbell lunge. It's again a quad focused movement. The two options you're likely to do on this are forward lunges or reverse lunges. Dependent on what direction you go is gonna be more predominantly either anterior leg or posterior leg. What she's gonna do is anterior leg today. So again, taking the bar just as you would on a barbell squat. It's gonna step a good few steps away from the rack and then safely stepping forward a good stride length, lowering herself down and then driving back off that front leg. She's gonna do about three on each side just to indicate how to do it. Notice how she's keeping her chest up, back nice and straight, head forward. She's nice and stable. She's not rushing throughout the movement. One more, Leanne. Perfect, and walk in. Now, sometimes you may find on that movement that you will start to wobble or your hips kick around a little bit. If that is the case, reduce the weight or do them with just body weight. Your body weight is adequate for a hotel workout, uh, sorry, a hotel gym workout or a business trip workout if it's a temporary thing. Obviously, over time, you want to be able to load that, but never, ever, ever forsake form for load. So that is exercise B1, our barbell alternating lunge. Okay, exercise B2, we're back up to the upper body. You can see the pattern here, lower body, upper body, lower body, upper body. What Leanne is now gonna do is a barbell shoulder press. Now, for some of you, you may need to reduce the weight quite considerably on this. It's a relatively weak movement, especially for any females watching this. Leanne, however, is an absolute weapon. She is a beast, so she will be able to lift this no problem. So again, what she's gonna do is walk into the bar. She's gonna step underneath it before she lifts it out. Lifts it away from the rack, 
She's then gonna, with nice, stable feet, about shoulder width apart, she's gonna drive the barbell up above her head, keeping her abs braced, glutes nice and tight so that she doesn't lose stability throughout the movement. Perfect, and you see how she's not pushing it in front of her head, she's not pushing it behind her head, she's pushing it directly above the crown of her head, which is where she needs to be. One more rep, Leanne. Good, perfect, and then safely back into the rack. Now, of course, if you're in a hotel gym, you may not necessarily have a rack. You can do this just by picking the uh, barbell up off the floor, that's not a problem. Just remember, always, always, always be safe, especially if you're in a hotel gym alone. That is exercise B2, the standing barbell shoulder press. Okay, exercise C1, we're getting through the workout now. We're now moving on to arms, our accessory work. So what Leanne is gonna do here is a barbell biceps curl. Biceps front of the arm, the beach muscles. So she's gonna pick up the barbell again, about hip width apart. You can go wider, you can go narrower. That is gonna vary the, uh, the stimulus slightly. What she's gonna do is making sure she sits her shoulder blades back nice and tight, that the elbows stay right beside her. She's then gonna curl that bar, bringing it up, squeezing, and then steady back down for about two seconds making sure she's not swinging into it. Second rep, perfect. She's just gonna go three more like that to show you exactly how she's doing it. If you find that you're swinging backwards and forwards, then back yourself up against the wall so your shoulder blades are resting against the wall. It just gives you a good target to stabilize yourself there, okay? So that is exercise C1, our barbell biceps curl. Okay, exercise C2, we're moving to triceps at the back of the arm. We're gonna do a tricep skull crusher. So Leanne is now lying on the floor, she's placed the bar behind her head. What she's gonna make sure she does is have a stable footing and she's squeezing her abs slightly to keep her back flat on the floor. She doesn't want too much of an arch. Once she's done that, she's gonna grab the bar. She extends the bar right up above her head. She's gonna shift her elbows back slowly towards her face. And then from that el fixed elbow position, she then flexes the elbow, lowers the bar, loading the triceps and squeezes back out. There's one, good. She's just gonna go for about four reps to show you. And notice how she isn't driving her elbows backwards and forwards throughout the movement. They are always in the same place. Good, just give me one more. Steady down and squeezing up and out and then safely back down to the ground. That is exercise C2, our triceps skull crusher. Okay, so now we're on to smaller accessory movements. Exercise D1, we're gonna do a lat raise. Now, technically it's not with the barbell, but it is with the accessories for the barbell, the plates. So this is an exercise. Shoulders, you can kind of hit every single session. Don't do masses and masses of volume per session. You can do high reps, but don't do multiple exercises. This means you can do them in every single session you do. So what Leanne is gonna do now is a lat raise using the plates that she had on the barbell. So she's gonna stand with stable footing, chest up a little bit, she's gonna have a slight bend in her elbows. She's then gonna elevate the plates out to the side, squeezing the delts, so we're aiming for here right now. Steady back down, good. Again, three. We're gonna go for about three more so you can get the technique. Notice how she doesn't swing backwards and forwards. She's keeping the elbows ever so slightly higher than the hands. Perfect. So that is exercise D1, our dumbbell lat raise. Okay, so the final exercise of this full body fat loss and muscle building workout, we're gonna move on to abs. Now, for me, there are three major exercises that you are gonna get the best out of your abdominal training with. Number one is the uh, V-sit, which we're about to do. Number two is a reverse crunch. Number three is any kind of stability work. So rather than doing hanging leg raises, stuff like that, stick to floor-based work like a gymnast and you're probably gonna get more out of it. So, this is the final exercise of the workout. What Leanne is gonna do is lift her legs up to about probably 90 degrees, just this side of 90 degrees above her. She's then just simply gonna try and touch her toes and then the legs come back down, arms go out, she comes back up again. One thing to note always when doing ab training is to make sure that your goal is to push your lower back into the floor. It's not simply to lift your legs or to lift your arms, it's to push your lower back hard into the floor. That's gonna allow you to get proper recruitment of the abdominal muscles and actually get the six pack you're looking for. Perfect, Leanne, thank you. So, as I said at the very, very beginning, you're gonna be wanting to do between two and four sets of this, dependent on your ability. Each exercise pairing, do them together before moving on to the next exercise pairing. I would suggest for most of you of standard ability, between 30 and 60 second rest between pairings should be enough. This is gonna allow you to get into the gym 
get your stuff done, get out of the gym and enjoy your holiday or get to your business meetings, whatever it is you need to do. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope it's been useful. Please remember to share it, like it, comment on it and make sure you tune in for the following videos. We have another barbell workout coming after this. We have a dumbbell workout, both A and B, again, full body and we have cable workouts. So do look out for them. They are all in here somewhere. So check out the channel, subscribe, and we will see you soon. Thank you, Lan.